Yeah, I've experienced Transcascadia. Wouldn't completely call it racing. There's tons of reasons why Shimano supports Transcascadia. You know, these guys got the forest service behind them. Like we're all over that. So if you see the Shimano name connected to it, we vetted them out pretty well. And we know that, that they're not just coming in there abusing and using the land. We're here at the Forest Service Regional Meeting up in Washington to talk with the Forest Service about continued collaboration. My name is Zach Jarrett. I am the Trail and Dispersed Recreation Program Manager for the United States Forest Service. We, you know, we've got 24,000 miles of trails within the region. Currently maintain about 40% of those trails. and So there's a huge void that we're trying to fill. Transcascadia is coming in and they're they're opening up trails that haven't had maintenance done on them for years, if not decades. And so anytime that we can have somebody who has their mission that aligns with the Forest Service, uh, we're really interested in partnering with them. We want them focusing on getting out into the woods and maintaining the trails, and we want them less focused or less involved with some of the processes that have been problematic in the past. We're really fortunate to be able to have the ability to work with Transcascadia and it creates an opportunity for the public to come out and experience their public lands. You know there's so much passion, so much love that goes into all the, the trail building and they're simply opening up more trails and making insane places for people to ride. You know it, it's just special.